Tasmania is marketed by one of the advertising companies, I'm not sure, as serene, green, clean, pristine, and that's absolutely right. The and four words. Yeah, and uh, somebody was telling me the other day, you can smell an Antarctic from here. <laughs> so I think, yeah, yeah you can. It's a very clean place. It's a very beautiful place. Australia is the right place to uh, raise a kid. I think you have a sort of amalgamation of cultures here. You get everything. Like uh, the kid gets raised in all kinds of atmosphere. He gets exposed to different languages, different people. And uh, he can imbibe, you know, the quality of different cultures. And hopefully he gets up to be a good human being. Yeah. And to have that uh, quality of mateship. And as we have described before, he gets a fair go. Mm. So I think that is very, very important. International medical graduates uh, play a, a very significant role uh, in the delivery of health in this country. Chances are uh, if an Australian is sick or injured, uh, whether they go to a, a, a private practice or a hospital, uh, it's quite probable that they will come in contact with an international medical graduate and certainly in uh, rural and remote areas, uh, very, very likely uh, that the, the doctor who is providing care will be an international medical graduate. I was at work and I got something in my eye and yeah, we flushed it out and it just doesn't feel right. So okay. Since coming to Australia, my career plans changed a little bit. My initial interest was in surgery back in the UK. But having come over to a slightly different system where I found the emergency department much more interesting, just the way that it's set up and the kind of government controls on the emergency yeah. department make it a much more interesting place to work over here. I'm now planning on training in emergency medicine. For me. Just going to pop some orange dye in your eye, okay? Accessing the training programs in Australia has seemed much easier than it has in the UK. Of course, things like surgery is com unbelievably competitive everywhere, but it seems here that the options are a bit more flexible than they are perhaps okay. back in the UK. Okay, you can sit back. Job done. All right. It's important uh, that uh, the public has confidence in the standards of the international medical graduates and because of that there are uh, rules, regulations and uh, processes that have to be met uh, for a doctor coming into this country uh, able to work uh, to show that they have met the standards which would make them um, show that they are practicing at the equivalent standard that we would expect from our own uh, graduates. Well certainly yeah having a baby in Australia was great, you know, good healthcare system, so, you know, it was, uh, it worked well. Um, and Australia in general is just a really nice place to live, it's a really easy place to live, um, you know, quality of life is excellent and uh, the cost of living is fairly comparable to most places. Um, the, the nice thing in terms of medicine in particular is that <laughs> it uh, certainly is one of the more forward-thinking countries in terms of wages and work hours. Um, that uh, over the last few years they've become quite uh, conscious of the, the safe working hours for especially junior doctors and um, so you know that's really quite a big positive. There's a lot of support and, uh, and the patients are quite used to getting seen and getting treated by IMGs. So uh, I have worked in the emergency department for quite some time and it was lovely working there, meeting new people, working with the staff, you get a lot of cooperation. Hello again, Mrs. Page. I'm Helen, we met earlier. Are you alright if I have another quick look at you and see how you're getting on? Oh, that's yeah. Fine. How's that? I'm going? really happy here socially, definitely financially, and in terms of the training that's offered to me. Um, I'm much happier here in the job that I'm doing at the moment than the job that was on offer to me back in the UK. And breathe normally, that's lovely. I'm the son of uh, post-war immigrants to Australia. I've got first-hand experience of how immigration enriches and improves a country uh, and uh, the movement of international medical graduates to Australia is another example of how that occurs. Mm -hmm.